Welcome to a new edition of the brand called You. Today I bring you a very, very accomplished young lady, Neela Kaushik. Neela, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me here today. Thank you. Neela is a management graduate and she's the founder of Gurgaon Moms. And we're going to talk to her about her journey as a Gurgaon mom. But Neela, before we get into Gurgaon Moms, talk to me a little bit about your early life, your early life. Learnings, your challenges, etc. Okay, so um, I grew up in the south and mm -hmm. from Chennai, mm -hmm. and um, uh, dad is a uh, civil services person. He's a retired IAS officer. So I've been to uh, lived in many rural areas as well. Uh, I've always aspired to get into the corporate world. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to become a CXO. That that was the dream I grew up with mm -hmm. and um, I did my management um, in, uh, I did my degree in MBA mm -hmm. and then I joined uh, uh, Ford and I worked as a business mm -hmm. analyst there, mm -hmm. very interested in integrated marketing, very interested in uh, what was coming up at that point in time was mm -hmm. social media, the way internet worked, uh, the way people responded to different kinds of uh, content that was going online. Mm -hmm. So that kind of pick my interest so that was my interest mm -hmm. line then I married went moved to the US yeah. and uh, yeah I mean when you're um, when you move to the US you go on H4 visa mm -hmm. and then the whole thing starts where you can't work mm -hmm. so uh, then I had my child and then so there was a break of about three four years uh, yeah. three years when mm -hmm. I came back to India I was almost unemployable it was mm -hmm. three years break and that was it I you mean, mentioned that companies are not willing to look at women returning after a break yes this was about 11 uh, this was about 12 years ago mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the offers that i got was they were not right they did Almost not sound right. you're restarting life again is it it was not even restarting it i felt it was insulting wow. yes i i definitely felt it was insulting and i will not take up something like that until uh, see i mean i i don't think um, uh, I deserved whatever they mm. uh, were offering mm. me at mm. that point. I deserved something more than that. So, And do you think this is changing in the last, say, 10 odd years that you've been back in India? So, um, so I run, th that's how I started Gurgaon Moms, yeah. uh, you know, because um, I had started the community and then I realized nobody is hiring me. And then I was like, okay, why not make this a social mm. venture? Mm. So through this venture, I am in touch with a lot of women who are again, uh, it, this, the battle still goes on. Mm. I mean, they're trying to get back to work, but I think the openness, uh, a lot of companies have started these initiatives, mm. but the number of initiatives and the number of women who want to get back to work, that does not match up. Really? Okay. And the programs, I feel the reach is not good enough as well. So I think we've started in the right direction, but I think we have a long way to go. Uh, the acceptance has to be there. Also, we need more programs. Like um, if you uh, look for programs in the US, there is always a, an option of enrolling oneself in a continuing mm -hmm. education course where you can upskill yourself. Sure. Uh, though the online courses are available right now, but the conventional universities and colleges uh, still do not mm -hmm. offer uh, mm -hmm. such courses. So I think those also uh, should start yeah. uh, but yes that is where we are today. And you know I'm hoping that we will start to see much more change because everyone is now much more aware in the corporate world yes. of gender balance. Yes. I mean there has been a huge inequality right. and I'm a great supporter of gender balance so I just hope we can see many many more women coming into the workforce especially after they've taken a break. I think, yes, I mean, uh, the sensitization has started, mm -hmm. but uh, like many other problems in the country, it is always about the implementation mm -hmm. part. You know, unless I think you start introducing uh, maternity leave for dads, mm -hmm. uh, that equality will always be a distant dream mm -hmm. because uh, whatever said and done, it is an inconvenience if only the lady goes Correct. on a maternity leave. So I think it uh, maternity, maternity, leave, yeah, has paternity leave has to start as well. Yes, that's right. So Neil, let's talk about Gurgaon Moms. You know, what you did mention that uh, after you moved back, uh, you decided to start. But what drove you into taking a decision to start a completely new organization? So I started it off to connect with other moms, uh, to get recommendations. Uh, 
I uh, like I said I am from the south and I lived abroad I came back so uh, with a 2 year old who's just running around all the time it's mm. so difficult to make Get friends it. so the easiest was to connect online mm. and online space is like one of my favorite mm. spaces uh, so it was very easy after he goes back to bed then you know I connect myself to that online space and then a lot of women um, that was when facebook groups also mm. started mm. so a lot of women took interest they started yeah. uh, joining the community mm. then conversations began there and um, as part of that there was a lot of information exchange which happened and then there were few challenges which i was going through mm. personally and then i thought it was very unique because mm-hmm. when i spoke to my mom my mom does not acknowledge that mm-hmm. when i spoke to my mother in law either she, she didn't understand couldn't that relate either to those challenges. yeah they yeah. couldn't mm-hmm. and because they didn't i did not open it uh, open up to my friends as well right because both of my uh, i mean most of my friends were in different uh, stages mm-hmm. of life so and but then you know i st- slowly started realizing that other moms with kids of the same age group were facing similar problems mm-hmm. similar issues um similar uh, uh, psychologically you know what you feel how mm-hmm. you feel whether you feel low or whether you feel high what are the things that affect you they were all almost similar mm-hmm. so i was like okay so let's start conversations yeah, on yeah. these topics mm-hmm. so when that started that is when i think the community started the bonding started mm-hmm. people started sharing experiences there were senior moms in the community who spoke about how they handled mm-hmm. it and where they are today uh, so you know so a very lot of information very in, interesting that's how the so one is sharing of information mm-hmm. but what are the other activities that uh, you do uh, through gurgaon moms as a platform so it started off as a space to share information to share recommendations and mm-hmm. then it became slowly turned into a place where you know it was seen as a support network mm-hmm. a place of sisterhood uh, today i see it as a place where uh, we want to keep it as a safe space mm-hmm. online space where women can talk about anything without the fear of being judged that is number 1 uh the second thing is uh, a safe space a nurturing space mm-hmm. where we are able to enable them uh to pursue their passion and to move towards their dreams mm-hmm. and goals so these are the two things that i uh, see okay. uh, gurgaon moms doing Wonderful. today and you have a job board we spoke about it yes a little bit but yes how is that working so we recently started that it's uh, been um, a, f- a few months now uh, so it, it it is such a great feeling mm-hmm. because i started the community because i couldn't find jobs yeah. but today there are a lot of uh, corporates and a lot of startups mm-hmm. as well uh, who approach us and who tell us that they're looking at hiring moms mm-hmm. and uh, uh, they give us the uh, whatever the description is the job profile mm-hmm. description mm-hmm. and we post it in the mm-hmm. uh, community there's been great response to it um Yeah so we we are happy we are happy that That's everybody fantastic. is benefiting through the amazing i mean you know it it it's very ironical you know uh, we also had two sons and my my wife was a teacher she worked throughout uh, life and yet at home somehow there is always this little inequality yes in terms of roles yes and i guess men also tend to rationalize it to themselves Yes to a large extent social conditioning mm. plays a great role in that mm. um I mean I am spearheading a community where we are always talking about the importance of gender equality um and and uh, a there have been a good number of instances where you know I had to um kind of remind myself mm. that this doesn't this is not what you preach mm. that's because you've been socially conditioned Correct. so you can you it's just natural for you mm-hmm. you know for example like when i was recently asked a question if there were uh, four men in the room and you're the only woman there and you're in somebody else's house and they want a cup of coffee mm. then what will be your immediate reaction mm. i mean of course i will say no mm. but you know if i ask myself mm. uh, the truth is yes i mean there will be uh, at least 1% of me that will say go make the coffee Correct. you know Correct. so yes i mean we've been socially conditioned, conditioned. Yeah. Uh, so we have to consciously break out of it mm. and uh, i think yes i mean at least uh, the urban uh, side of it we're mm. seeing a lot of change mm. a lot of acknowledgement to this issue I as well which i think is a very good develop it so neela you know i was also when i was reading about you i was reading about the mom achievers summit oh yes uh tell me about this summit. oh that's another favorite thing of mine yeah. because um when 
one of the things that I missed after um, you know uh, motherhood and because I had to stay back because I couldn't find a job was that I couldn't network with others. Mm. Uh, great, I mean I was able to network with my uh, child's mm. uh, uh, friends, yeah, yeah. moms, mm. but the topics were always centered around uh, motherhood Children, yeah. and child. Mm. I mean, but you need to have conversations around your interests, around uh, some intellectual stimulation, mm. etc. So, uh, so I felt and, and I had just attended an entrepreneurship summit and I just loved it. Mm. It was like, why not a mom summit? Mm. So when in fact, when I had first proposed it, so people were like, what will moms come and do from nine to four o'clock mm. or four thirty, whatever? Mm. But what will they do the entire day? Mm. Uh, so I said, it will be a summit. It will be exchange of information. It will be entertainment mm. and things like that. So, yes, I mean, um, the, uh, so, so the first summit, I still remember more than 50 percentage of the people were invited to the event okay. because just to get a feel for the event mm. and uh, from the next year onwards it's been a sellout and the most recent event had more than 400 people and we were completely sold out wow. and we're looking for a, a bigger venue now this will be our sixth year Amazing. of the summit um, we have had inspirational speakers uh, we've had um, uh, stay-at-home moms mm. as well uh, on mm. the stage mm. uh, we have TEDx kind of uh, talks mm. we have stand-ups coming to the event wow. so there's, there's there's a lot of elements that goes to it and it's one whole day of celebration of not just the community but uh, of the motherhood wow. as well yeah. that's fantastic and you have this once a year yes this is once a year amazing, amazing. so you know uh, you have over 30,000 members in the NCR we are 32,000 32,000 yes um, any plans of taking this uh, pan India Oh, yes, definitely. We want to take this to the other cities as well. I think uh, we have some unique elements that we have uh, that we can offer to the other cities. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely planning on mm -hmm. um, a few south cities first. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, yes, we want to see how to yeah, take it. Yeah. Because I mean, the kind of data you would have collected yes. on the challenges, opportunities yes. for moms uh, in, say, the NCR. Yes would not be very different from the needs in the rest of the country. Um, okay, so we have indeed started a smaller community in Chennai. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I have realized, in fact, I started with the same uh, notion mm -hmm. and opinion. But the conversations, uh, the flavor of conversations um, are very different mm -hmm. in each of the okay. city. Mm -hmm. um, for example, but in Gurgaon, uh, it's it's a moving population. Mm -hmm. So people do not have a support network here Correct. because their families are probably living somewhere Correct. else. Uh, so they need this community mm -hmm. for that. Uh, whereas in Chennai, uh, most of the people are living with their families. Mm -hmm. So the kind of information they require is very, very different. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do realize that every city we have to understand it better yeah. so that uh, you know we can cater to that mom audience mm. there yes but it's interesting I can imagine I can imagine you know a friend of mine was in, in the milk foods business in China mm -hmm. and he set up these communities and I think he must have got at least a couple of million young mothers who are coming together and I'm, you know, I'll send you some details about oh, that. Oh, yes, so, ah, yes, yes, yes. I would love to know more about that. So, um, you know, having started um, Gurgaon Moms, um, have you ever thought of going back to uh, working full time again? Um, so, until four years ago, I was still looking for job opportunities because it, that was my dream. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's very difficult to break out of that, mm. at least for me. Mm. Uh, but for the last four years, I've been completely committed because mm. I see a lot of opportunities here. Uh, so initially it was, uh, you know, we used to have volunteers, we used to have team members, etc. Everything was uh, volunteer based. Uh, it is very difficult mm. to just move that way. But right now it is more a social venture. Mm. Okay. where there's a business side as well. So I'm able to um, kind of, uh, you know, whatever is the effort, mm -hmm. make some, uh, you know, small gesture mm -hmm. payments. Mm -hmm. So today I see it as a social venture and I'm fully committed to it. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So one more question uh, on Gurgaon Mom before we move to the next phase. Um, a lot of young moms amb have ambitions. Uh, they decide to start a family, they take a break. Mm -hmm. And then as you faced, there are challenges again. Right. 
what would your advice be to these young mothers uh, who are taking a break mm. and wanting to come back so it is a personal decision very personal decision that you want to make um number one um is uh, what is it that you want out of life mm. and uh, uh will you be happy that's the most important question you know uh, will you be happy if you give up your job and if you are 24 hours at home for many of us it is not for many for many of us it is fine sure. so you know ask yourself the right questions mm-hmm. to make the right decision in case you plan on going on a break then it is extremely important to stay in touch with your old colleagues mm-hmm. with your old network uh, and, and let them know that you are still interested and that you will be coming back to work mm-hmm. one day so that they are aware and when when you are ready they are ready to take you back or they are ready to help you with Correct. other references Correct. at least uh, but yes it is extremely important to ask yourself that question what is it which is important for you for a lot of moms it is very important uh, to see their child grow up Correct. those mo- moments are so beautiful yeah. and they definitely want to be mm. part of it mm. which is great mm. but make that decision a conscious one Correct. let that not be a forced one mm. Very interesting. Very well said. So let's keep moving on. Mm-hmm. Then uh, you know, let's talk to you a little bit about startups because you know, Gurga Moms was a startup, or yes. now it's about six, seven years old. Yes, six, right? seven years. When you were starting up, what were some of your learnings and some of your challenges? So, um, in fact. i can speak on behalf of a lot of other moms as well because we do have a separate division for uh, women entrepreneurs mm-hmm. especially um, who are just starting out so we see that there are two different types of uh, women entrepreneurs mm-hmm. one uh, or three we can say mm-hmm. one is who is trying to turn a passion into a business mm-hmm. uh, the second one is uh, who wants to go aggressive who wants to go full uh, you know who wants to commit fully mm-hmm. to the business mm-hmm. but does not know the know how but she is getting into it because she uh, entrepreneurship is the most convenient option at that point in mm-hmm. time like what mm-hmm. happened to me mm-hmm. uh, and the third type is people who know what they are doing and they have good mentors and they have uh, good access to network and information etc mm-hmm. and uh so we look at the first and the second category uh we see a lot of them mm-hmm. in gurgaon moms uh so uh people who are trying to turn their passion into uh, a business mm-hmm. we try telling them i mean if it is business then the level of commitment has to go up Correct. and things like that now for people like me who uh, are uh, uh who do not come or do not necessarily have a business background mm-hmm. or setting up business mm-hmm. for us it is access to information like Correct. if i have to uh, upskill myself if i have to understand uh, the basics mm-hmm. of business then where do i go mm-hmm. for mentoring help uh, mm-hmm. then what uh, are the bank loans available how mm-hmm. does government help startups mm-hmm. now that kind of information where should i go to uh, so this information we in fact we do put it together and give it to our mom entrepreneurs but when i started out it was very uh, different Difficult to get that kind of thing. The third is um, our own uh, women network. Mm-hmm. You know, it it does get a little difficult when it is a male dominated room to go. And we try even when you speak. Sometimes, uh, not often, mm-hmm. but sometimes it does happen that. Uh, you know we're not loud enough or we're not acknowledged yeah. so we need more women leaders Correct. out there and women leaders again should humanize themselves uh because um, and make them reachable you know so basically they should offer their help as mentors i agree i agree with you I completely agree so you know a quick question on you know you're supporting so many women entrepreneurs um what has been your experience in some of the mistakes they make as entrepreneurs um some of the mistakes they make one is definitely uh, confuse passion and business uh, i think that is one of the biggest mistakes that happens there uh, the second is uh, to again confuse relationships and business mm-hmm. um the third mistake will be um Yeah I think these two mistakes are uh, you know if, okay. if I think you they streamline that then they will be perfect. Okay. My next question to you uh, before I come into a few on for you personally is uh, and this one is to you as a mother um, you know Indian parents and this include me and my parents 
डोंट टीच चिल्ड्रन द मीनिंग ऑफ फेलियर यू नो इट्स ऑलवेज कम फर्स्ट be in the front of the queue and it this manifests itself in our behavior patterns on the road my car must be right in front mm-hmm. the moment a flight of it full of indians lands anywhere everyone wants to be the first off and so on so forth mm-hmm. how important is it for children on one side and for startup entrepreneurs on the other side because 9 out of 10 startups fail mm-hmm. how important is it for them to understand failure dekh it is super super extremely important mm-hmm. uh, i can say it from my life also i've always been uh, you know i've always come first and i've, I've been extremely competitive in okay. life and uh, when when i was out of work and i couldn't find work just getting over it i mean i, I think i had the toughest time mm. how know, could this be happening to me exactly right? exactly yeah. that question i mean i could never answer that i uh, still sometimes you know at least for at, at least 4 mm. years ago and unless and until 4 years ago i used to ask that question i mean why was it that i became unemployable mm. uh, i was good at this i was good at that but it's extremely important mm. to understand uh, failure how to process failure and um, how to get up again uh, i think parents we have to make a conscious effort to um, to get our children okay. you know to uh, understand to understand okay. what it means right. and life is not just about winning mm. uh, life is about uh, being happy okay. staying true to oneself and uh, uh, an the expression of uh, it has to be the expression of one's highest self mm. and that is what everyone should aspire to be rather than uh, raising winners mm. i think I that's the focus so i have a new book that i'm writing on failure mm. and with your permission i'll quote you on this what you've just told oh, me oh <laughs> great thank you so uh, neel a few questions for you personally you know um, the first question would be relating to mentors you know have you had uh, mentors in life and if yes what kind of help have you got from them Oh I've had wonderful mentors yeah. in my life. Um uh one of my uh, most important mentors who made a lot of difference was um I I have a friend who is um a counselor. Um so when I was going through phases in my life um I used to go talk to her and uh, she also played not only the role of a counselor but you know kind of uh, she helped me mm-hmm. she helped me understand what I really wanted in life mm-hmm. and what are the different ways of going about it now she also helped me understand that um you know when i meant uh when I, when i always say i've always dreamt uh to become this um cxo in mm-hmm. life so if that doesn't happen that is that is a means to achieve Correct. something so what is it that i really want mm-hmm. and how i can go about mm-hmm. achieving it and i've also had mentors in the business side of mm-hmm. it um who helps me uh, so she she basically tries helping me understand putting a structure to the mm-hmm. entire thing uh, looking at numbers see that is one big weakness i think a lot of uh, women have mm-hmm. and i it is a stereotype that we should all break out no, of is that you know learn to look at numbers and start falling in love with the numbers okay. it is only when you start falling in love with the numbers uh, even if it had been um, even if it was not a business venture mm-hmm. even to grow a community i will have to understand what the number means what engagement means what uh, uh, you know the number of likes or comments mm-hmm. mean so etc so uh, so so she helps me put a structure to it she helps me understand the numbers better she also helps me setting goals and mm-hmm. uh, you know meeting it wow. uh, yeah so i do have great mentors yeah uh, what three adjectives would define you um three adjectives uh, i am an extremely optimistic person okay. I, um even in my lows i'm very optimistic that things will look up mm-hmm. so that's one the second thing is i'm extremely determined to um reach my goal mm-hmm. to reach where i am the third is um i'm a happy person good uh, i'm always striving to be happy and uh, i'm always trying to st- uh, you know make a better version of myself mm-hmm. uh that is oh, why well, thank you um what when was the last time you did something for the first time when was the last time 
okay so um i am a little adventurous mm-hmm. not very i cannot uh handle heights mm-hmm. but i love trying new food so there are a lot of first times when it come, comes to food but to answer your question um i did a business trip okay and um so very recently and it was a solo trip and i thoroughly enjoyed uh that you know uh, it was not just my me time but it was for my work and i was uh, having a meet a uh, couple of meetings there. that just you yeah. know it just gives you yeah. you so know that time with yourself that's fantastic and yes. where do you travel to i travel to mumbai oh wonderful yeah wonderful so you know a question uh, i ask a lot of my guests uh, again comes to failure um you know because a lot of people who watch our show just assume people who are sitting and chatting with me haven't failed mm-hmm. um what have been your learnings from your mistakes or your failures um so one of the biggest learning has been um i think something that affected me was when i gave up my job so when i gave up my job and i moved to the us i just took it for granted that i'll find another mm. work because i was supremely confident about myself uh so that kind of made me understand made okay. me realize that uh, when you'd make decisions especially uh decisions that can affect mm. uh your lifestyle um uh, then it is extremely important to understand what are the challenges on mm-hmm. the other side mm-hmm. it is extremely important to understand everything rather than assume things mm-hmm. and uh, plan for it accordingly mm-hmm. and always have a plan b if something doesn't work out then what is your plan b so that you can fall back on understand so my last question to you nila do you have any regrets um i won't say regrets i have learnings um and what will some of these be uh so this is the 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 one which i mentioned mm-hmm. definitely is a, one of the biggest learnings mm-hmm. that i've had the second is uh, yes do not mix business and family uh when you look at a business uh, I, uh there is one part of you which will ask you to look at it uh you know with a lot of passion mm-hmm. but you have to look also at uh what will make uh business sense mm-hmm. when you're trying to do something mm-hmm. so and, and how especially when it comes to a social venture how to strike the balance mm-hmm. between the two because uh when it comes to a social venture it is also extremely important to commit yourself to the cause as well right. so where do you actually strike that balance so that is something nila thank you very much i thank wish uh, gurgaon moms lots of success thank you and uh, you know the conversation with you has been really really fantastic thank, thank you, you. now thank you so much for the opportunity it was a wonderful opportunity thank, thank you. you thank you for listening to the brand called you podcast be sure to visit tbcy.in to join the conversation access show notes and discover fantastic bonus content you can follow us on youtube twitter facebook and instagram simply search for the brand called you thank you and see you next week